Today we continue highlighting various ministries and agencies funded by the annual Catholic Appeal, the diocesan fund drive currently underway. For Andrew Melendez, tutoring kids in his hometown turned out to be more than a rewarding experience. Julie Bollier takes us now inside Holyoke's Homework House, a ministry of the Sisters of St. Joseph where at-risk students are making the grade. Homework House is growing as low-income youth blossom under its care. Now with two locations in Holyoke and plans to expand into Springfield, this after-school program, founded by Sisters of St. Joseph, Maureen Brown and Jane Morrissey in 2006, is a recipient of funds from the Springfield Diocese Annual Catholic Appeal. The program was still in its planning stages when Andrew Melendez, who was starting his freshman year at Our Lady of the Elms College in Chicopee, volunteered to do renovation work at the Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish in Holyoke in the building which was formerly Sacred Heart School. I want to see the kids now that get to be in this space. Andrew did return. I tutored my first freshman year and it was wonderful. I got to be a role model for these students that I, that I get to relate to. Um, you know, I had a hard time in school and I really wish that I had the opportunity to go to homework house, but at least I was able to give back to these students and be there for them. Andrew recalls a conversation he had with Sister Maureen Kervik, who was Director of Campus Ministries at the Elms. I really don't know what social justice means. I, I really don't know what it means to, to, to do community service, even though I lived in a city that is, you know, the, the poorest city in the state. So I said, you know, I really want to help out. Andrew stayed at Homework House throughout his college career. In addition, he also went to Honduras with Passionist Volunteers International, and helped rebuild homes in New Orleans through Habitat for Humanity. It's been a great five years. Um, you know, starting off tutoring was really wonderful. Uh, and then I, you know, I guess I did a pretty good job. You know, I, there was an opening for a, kind of like an assistant to really help out with, you know, uh, uh, you know, walking the kids, really kind of just supervising. So even though I was a sophomore in college, uh, kind of my leadership skills were shown to the sisters of uh, St. Joseph, Sister Maureen Braun and Sister Jane Morrissey, the two co-directors and co-founders of Homework House. Andrew's role at Homework House continued to grow, all the way up to program director. One of the things that was my job titles was to go out to the other colleges and recruit more tutors for the program with Sister Maureen and Sister Jane. And then throughout the years, I just gained a little bit more responsibility. Andrew Melendez is not only a role model for kids in Holyoke, but is also a leader in his community. I met with Mayor Elaine Pluta. Andrew has done a, a great job here in the city and is being a, a great role model to the, especially the young people. He is on the Charter Commission. He has also received the uh, award for, from the Puerto Rican community, uh, La Dia de Familia group, and he also received a, an award um, from me, but it was on behalf of the citizens of Hoyoke, uh, to congratulate him and thank him for all the work that he's done on behalf of the city and uh, the city's young people. Growing up in Holyoke, Andrew takes great pride in his hometown. I grew up in Springdale. I was born and raised in 6th James Street. I had a hard time, you know, going with the flow, I guess. I would kind of get in trouble because I would say, hey, that's not right. It's very important for my friends or for the kids now in high school to say, you know, we need to, you know, speak up for ourselves. At Homework House, students learn more than just the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic, along with respect, responsibility, and rationality. When I first came to Homework House, I was really nervous because um, this was my first day. And then I told my parents how fun it was to be in Homework House. When I'm done doing my homework, I read for a while, then I play some games. Kids aren't the only ones who love the program. Some of the tutors love it even more. It's a wonderful experience. It's a great experience. I'm learning more from the kids than I think the kids are learning from me. Um, there's a lot of new methodology for, for learning, uh, particularly in the math area, and it's very interesting for me. 
the Homework House is, is a great asset to the city. It was started by uh, the sisters a few years ago, and they have done a fabulous job in building that up and getting the students who need that special attention to do better in school. I think it's very important for the children to see role models in their own culture because that's something for them to attain to. It's, it's a message that they need to receive, that they can become teachers, they can become directors of organizations, they can be whatever they want to be. Homework House is a nonprofit organization which would not exist without volunteers, donors, grants, and funding from the annual Catholic Appeal. What's great about the annual Catholic Appeal is that every single year they've been so committed to Homework House. Last year, Homework House received $15,000, which helps pay for salaries, utilities, and a new program called Arts Fridays, as Andrew explains. Three Fridays a month, Arts Fridays comes in, Enchanted Circle Theater, Vega Yoga, and the kids get to really enjoy what it is to, uh, to really have the mind, body, and spirit. Andrew has since resigned as program director, yet remains on the board. Homework House helps inner city youth and is funded in part by the annual Catholic Appeal. Reporting for Real to Real, this is Julie Bollier. And remember, Homework House is one of more than 40 ministries and services which receive funding from the annual Catholic Appeal. Be a neighbor helping these younger neighbors by making a donation today online at diospringfield.org. On behalf of all those from all walks of life who will benefit, thank you.